Hi guys. Well, it is now a nice, uh, cool, crisp 93 degrees. 93 degrees here in the shade. We are in the shade at 93 degrees there at Bugs in a Jar Farm in upstate New York on uh, Saturday, August 6th, 2022. So guys, <laughs> it, it, you know, I really cannot make this shit up. So what this is, that you're looking at inside this cap, that is my tooth. Well, that's at least half of my tooth. The half of my tooth that just fell out of my fucking head when I uh, bit into a chicken sandwich for lunch. Which happened, you know. So I get up this morning and, and I do a rant uh, going in there dealing with this fucking propane tank about how every fucking thing that I touch uh, on, on some sort of level it is fucking bullshit. I, I, I mean, I'm either dealing with out and outright scammers, bullshit artists, clueless fucking morons, incompetent idiots. So I haven't even been talking much about this weird toothache that I had all week that's been uh, throbbing all around my mouth. This weird toothache uh, was actually traveling around my mouth, going from tooth to tooth, but it was basically centered, uh, you know, in my upper right gum is where this was and traveling all around. So I make an appointment with the fucking dentist. Make a fucking appointment. Long fucking drive down there. So yesterday, get in my gas sucking truck, drive all the way to, you coming up or not? Uh, drive all the fucking way to uh, the dentist, sit there. So, uh, you know, they take all this, say they took four x-rays of my mouth. Uh, you know, that first woman who comes in and then the second woman, the actual dentist, she comes in to actually find out what is going on with this weird toothache in my head. And uh, so she's in there, the, you know, taking pictures of my teeth to go along with the x-rays. And so what she does but she goes down my teeth, starting at the back of my mouth, heading towards the front, going through the teeth. Uh, and so every time she does it, she does this three times. Every time she gets to this certain tooth, kind of in the middle, like, well, up towards, getting towards the front of my mouth now, every time she taps on the tooth, I tell her that's the one that uh, you know it's the only one that I could feel uh, you know anything weird that would send this shooting pain through the side of my head and uh, so three times I tell her it hurts then we develop the x-rays and she sets out the x-rays where I can look at them too. Okay, I have never been to dental school in my life. It, it is clear on the x-ray. It is clear on the fucking x-ray that the tooth that she was tapping on that hurt had a fucking crack right down the middle of it. So me, who has never been to dental school, I said, it looks to me like, lady, that this tooth has a crack down the middle of it. Uh, I, I said, do you think that could have anything to do with it? And she just completely brushed it off. No, let's see, no, we have an x-ray of, uh, of a tooth showing a crack down the middle of it. 
every time I tap on this crack tooth, the guy goes, ouch. She saw, I, I, I wish the fuck I could have recorded this, uh, th th this clueless bitch. Uh, she was completely flabbergasted. What was going wrong in my mouth? I mean, completely mystified. She told me, all of your teeth are totally fine. She said, there's nothing wrong with any one of those teeth along that line. I mean, I have some, you know, receding gums. So I got that going on like all farts do. You know, we talk about that for a minute, but uh, she says that would not explain the toothache. She was completely mystified uh, what was going on, why I had a toothache, and she said, if it comes back next week, call me and we'll figure out where to go from there. She goes, but I think, you know, she just said it was a one-off that sometimes you just get weird toothaches and they disappear. That was yesterday. I get up today, the first bite of food I take, uh, this fucking chicken sandwich, I bite into my chicken sandwich and guess what? My fucking tooth breaks in half. Ugh, Jesus falls out of my goddamn head in the middle of my goddamn sandwich. So now I have this big, it's not the whole tooth, it's just a, you know, half the fucking tooth. So instead of having exactly a new hole in my head, uh, I have this jagged ass, you know, piece of enamel, this jagged, ragged piece of old tooth uh, rubbing up against the inside of my goddamn lip, uh, making this goddamn sore on the inside of my fucking lip. Now I gotta go in on Monday have the fucking tooth pulled. Uh, so now I'm gonna have two teeth, uh, two holes in my goddamn head. Uh, Jesus, the aging uh, process is not for fucking pussies. Uh, fuck! So, so what else is going on today? Yeah, so Sandy and I, you know, we, uh, go and pick up these rainwater collection tanks uh, yesterday. Now she's not using it for drinking water, but I'm planning to use this thing for drinking water on my new tiny house. And uh, so this guy's selling these things like they're brand new for $60. And the guy said, you know, we asked the dude before he went over there, to his credit, we, we asked him uh, what was in it. Is it okay for drinking water? And he said uh, he recommended not using it for drinking water. He says it's uh, fine for irrigation. You know, Sandy's using it to irrigate her garden. Uh, because she has all this iron in her well and stuff. He says it's totally fine for that to irrigate your food with the water coming out of this tank, but he personally would not use it for, uh, for uh, drinking water. So apparently these tanks were used one time. They were used one time and then uh, discarded. So this guy ended up getting like 40 of these things. So I look it up. Oh shit. The chemical is called N hyphen. I think I am remembering this correctly. Tetra decane. Tet N hyphen tetra decane or something like T E T R A D E C. A N E, and uh, I, I looked up how toxic is tetradecane, and <laughs> you should you should see the goddamn picture they have. But it's 
you, you know that the tanks are completely dry I mean there's not one fucking drop of this stuff I don't know how long they have been uh, sitting empty uh, I mean not one drop there's no smell no nothing so I'm just flushing the thing out uh, I, I'm just flushing it out. Of course, I'm flushing it out into my goddamn bog garden. Uh, and I think Sandy said she's going to treat it with vinegar. Uh, you know, we were thinking about cleaning it out with bleach. But that didn't sound... That, that was problematic, too. So I'm just flushing the goddamn thing out. And uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna do that a, probably twice. I'm gonna flush it out and then just leave it open for the air to get to. And uh, I will not use it for drinking water until you know, like next May. I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and and do the rainwater collection system. Um, you know, for things like washing dishes and various uses in the outhouse and stuff, but I'm not going to use it for drinking water until May. So that's what I'm dealing with that. And right now I'm heading up to buy a, uh, a bed off of Craigslist, <laughs> you know, with the mattress. So I'm getting ready to buy it's the it's the bed, the box springs, and the mattress, all for fifty dollars. Uh, so here I go to buy a used mattress off of Craigslist. Uh, two days after I buy a used chemical tank for my rainwater collection system off of Craigslist. Oh, fuck. We're so fucked. Get out there and enjoy chewing with the fucking teeth in your head while you still can before they all fucking fall out and you die of cancer from uh, your rainwater collection system. Jeremy sent me this, I think it was Jeremy, uh, sent me this article that now in rainwater that these toxic chemicals are showing up in rainwater thinking that you're going to dodge the bullet by uh, by making a rainwater collection system that this, this nasty toxic chemicals are everywhere uh, they're, they're falling out of the fucking sky you can't fucking win anymore guys do you get it uh I'm sitting here goddamn flushing out uh, this toxic ass water tank with my well water which I've never had tested uh, so I can have a rainwater collection system full of shit every bit as uh, toxic as the shit that I'm flushing out with my well water. Anyway. It is a beautiful day here in the end times. Go buy a used mattress off of Craigslist. Can you say monkey pox? Bye, guys.